All right, just gonna show you guys this. This is kind of funny, and it just proves to me that Edward Fenninger is just not only an agent for the Vatican, he's also a political tool. And in here, this video, he's attacking me, attacking a comment, attacking me over a comment I left on his video, uh, saying to him that you know my home is in heaven. I I do not do not care what happens to the nations, and that quite frankly. I mean, I'm not a patriotic person, and he, he's getting all triggered over that, because you see he's wearing a USMC t-shirt, so he's obviously a, a Marine, supposedly, but he's attacking me because I basically don't worship worship America like he does, and I don't, you know, support and love America. And, and in, in the description, he's saying, you know, I address the Brian Dillinger punks who piously say they have no love for their nations while enjoying their freedoms. Uh, I can enjoy freedoms. I don't have to love a nation, though. You know, I want to get a chapter and verse on that. I'm going to show you some scriptures that destroy Fenninger's claim. But he's saying we have to love and bless America. Okay, I left in my comment down below. Uh, I don't have to love or, or pledge sorry, love and pledge allegiance to a nation just because I enjoy the freedoms in that nation. So true. America is under the curse of God. Abortions happen daily. Sodomy runs rampant in both Democrat and Republican Party. Both parties are rampant with sodomy. Trump is forcing sodomy upon nations like Iran that still outlaw it. Pornography is legal. The pornography industry in America is very rich. Transgenderism is taught to preschoolers in schools, and God has been kicked out of the public school. And adultery and fornication runs wild in America. I have no love and support for a nation like that. Totally. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to support a nation like that. I mean, I can enjoy the freedoms, but I'm not going to support and, and God bless America. How can God bless America? Honestly, America is the most godless nation ever. America was once a godly nation, I'll give it that. He, America, Fenninger, he reads from this book, I'm not going to go through that, but he reads from a, of a book where back when America was a more godly nation, and back when everyone did believe in God, and he says, see, we should bless America because Christians are fighting for America. Again, what's the historical context of that book? And I'm not going to go through that, but... I quote Psalms 9.17, The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. That's America. But you're going to see how he's just triggered and just all upset over the fact that I don't worship America and, and the fact that I'm not patriotic. You know, I don't care about the nations, quite frankly. This is not my eternal home. And you're going to see he actually mocks uh, me saying that, oh, heaven's my home, not earth. He actually mocks that. He's a blasphemer. He's a mocker. He's not a Christian. But let's get right into this uh ridiculous political nonsense, just proving that Ed Fenninger is a political tool for the Vatican. Good afternoon, I'm going to give a little short little history to these uh, punks who don't know any history, uh, like uh, Servants for Christ and the rest of the lunatics that follow Brian Dangler. This is uh, from uh, by Ruin Brady. Uh, I'll skip ahead to the part where he just gets all mad and everything. Because the whole part of it, he's just, he's just reading this book or whatever. I'm going to skip ahead to 4 minutes and 16 seconds. Let's go back there. That way I had to make three charges and the Americans ran out of ammunition. There's, there's your guys talking about my home is in, my home is in heaven. Oh uh, yeah, my home is in heaven, Fenninger. I don't seek an earthly kingdom. My home is in heaven. Why are you so upset about over that? Did it maybe? Did I maybe step on your idol, America? You know, he's, he's got a picture back there of them putting up the American flag. Did I maybe step on your idol, and, and you're you're upset now? Maybe so. Again, my home is not. I don't care what happens to America. My home is in heaven. America is going to be judged by God. So I'm not going to bless a nation like that. You know. But it seems because I've stepped on his idol, he's all upset now. You know? That's what it took. Men like Avery and the 80 year old and these little punks. My home is in heaven. I don't, I don't care about the United States of America. I don't care about Canada because they don't know anything. They didn't pay for anything. They didn't fight for anything. Amen. Chapter and verse, please. Where, where are we required by scripture to love and support and fight for a nation? I mean, Romans 13, we are supposed to obey the laws of the land if they're not contradicting God's laws. But where are we supposed to have this allegiance to the nation and all this other stuff? Your allegiance is to Jesus Christ, not to a nation. You know, he just keep, again, he's proven to me that he's a political tool for the Vatican and for the Republican Party. He just keeps proving that to me. But let me show you some scripture that he would not show you with a with a 10-foot pole. And again, you know, this thing of, oh, he doesn't support nations, your home is in heaven. You know, 
Got a problem with that. Again, because I stepped on his idol, so he doesn't like that. Isaiah 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. They are counted as, as, as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a, as a, every li- sorry, as a very little thing. Sorry, I got my words mixed up. In Lebanon, it is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts, therefore, they are sufficient for a burnt offering. Look at verse 17. All the nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. That's what God thinks about nations. Oh no, I guess God isn't very patriotic then. You know? But again, this is what God thinks about your nations. They're kind of less than nothing. So, I don't care about the nations. You know? So, stepped on his idol, and he's all upset now. Oh, you, you hope's in heaven. You know, see how he's mocking the whole thing? Ridiculous. Um, let me just go on. Actually, verse 18 is a good one, too. To whom then will you liken God, or what likeness will you compare unto him? Hmm. You're comparing, you know, you're bringing, you're lifting America up to this status of, oh, America's this horror, this lovely nation. God bless America. It's idolatry. It's I call, I call it. I, I like to call. Oh, I had a little catchphrase for it. I just lost my train of thought. But it's idolatry. The workman melted the graven image. The goldsmith spread it over with gold, and the and cast this silver coins. You know, the American flag is a graven image, like this uh, little heretic has right behind them. The, Amer- the American flag. It's a graven image. So, just want to bring that out. Fenninger is just, it, it's just, again, it goes back to my thing. He's just proving himself to be a, a controlled opposition, a, sh- a paid political shill for the Vatican. I mean, his, his doctrine lines up with the Roman Catholic Church. He has Catholics that promote him. He's got very, very wicked connections. Um, and, and it's funny because he says, he claims he's against Catholicism, but he doesn't realize that Trump is a Catholic. Trump is a Jesuit. Okay, but I'm going to keep exposing Fenninger, and Fenninger is just going to keep getting all upset and getting all upset and, and that because someone's not blessing America, all this other stuff. Ooh, wow, ooh, wow. Well, again, remember what God says. They're kind of less than nothing and vanity. So that's what God thinks about your nation, Fenninger. So anyway, God bless you. Don't be deceived by heretics like this. He's a papist. You know, he's a, a political tool. Don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Goodbye.